in Texas look behind you Cause that's where the Rangers gonna be And continues to fall crowd continues to fall silent here they're not sure what they're going to get from their team we've loaded up their forward line there Adelaide you've got McLeod, Paul Pleasure, Walker, Dangerfield, Stevens and Tippett ball tossed in the air to start this final term Douglas with the important first clearance Walker front position he ignores the lead he goes for goal. That's a, a big long hit. Pass. Why not? That's a lifter. Get on board. Outstanding kick from Taylor Walker. Good coach for Neil Craig. He's put all his aces forward. For pleasure, Taylor Walker, McLeod. Centre clearances. They're like gold in these conditions because what it does, it allows you to have a one on one. Taylor Walker sees the lead there of Dangerfield. Tippett floating back and says, no, leave it to me. Straight over the goal umpire's hat. What a great start for Adelaide. Fantastic. Beautiful kick. Use the bruise beautifully. Great positioning from Taylor Walker. He's had the Adcock matchup. He's had the 10 disposals. Kicked uh, was it one goal, one for the day. But he got in front, the ball dipped, and then the beautiful kick at goal. Just Red. the start the Crows needed. Cool. Brown's down there, almost but not quite Brown. the mark. Box spilled it, should have taken it. Adcock smashes it wide. Simon Black from Polkinghorn wobbles it towards Hawksley. Can't grab it. Rich does. They grab him. Petrenko, who captains the team today for Indigenous Round. Jarrah Petrenko gets it out. Sliding in Riley, lays a half tackle. Ball tied up. And the umpire doesn't blow the whistle. He lets it shuffle out. Brisket Tully in the middle if they can find him. McGrath, Patful, ambles it back. Little fumble, McGuire. That might be enough. Turnover. Stevens had a piece of it. Knock it out. Knock it out was the call. Dangerfield did. Three Adelaide Crows plays here. Everywhere. Scott Thompson for Walker. Oh, he played on. He took a step. Now he's told to get on with it. Sets it up. Kicks it long. That will do. That will do. He was a little bit confused what to do because he knew in the third quarter he had that instance where Paul Pleasure was yeah. running in. So, unfortunately, he thought, I'll go back. But he took, went off the mark. You see Tippett running towards the goal. He's just gone off his line there. He knew what he wanted to do and thought, well, i just better kick it over the goal umpire's hat again. Just simplify it for myself and just get it there. He could be the match winner here for Adelaide kicking two last quarter goals in the first five minutes. <laughs> Forwards bunching at yeah. centre half forward, Hurdy. And the middle and of the, the ground yeah. as well, the midfield's the middle of the ground. A lot of time bunches. spent practicing at the training field, these sort of bunches to give yourself space to run into and counter uh, the zone defence. So McKay short, and they're away here. Van Burlo to Doughty, hacks it long. Danger field again, got oh. hands to it, didn't bring it down. Gilbert the crumb, Fisher, Quilt. Bumped off it and legally. Walker, hardly seen it. Spins it around the body. Gold. Gets a rest. Taylor Walker saved his own butt with some good last quarters the past two weeks. He's kicked he five goals in total the past fortnight, but four of them in last quarters and none in first half. So he'd be happy to get one in the first half here. <laughs> It's an area that they were so good at last year and they've been so poor this year is their handball receives, their run and carry. You can see they're actually making a concerted effort to play on and to get the ball moving and using hands. They've had 20 handball receives early in this game, which is good, which is a good sign. Sandilands from the knock, tried to go his second effort himself. This sort of stuff, the man. clearance is good. Backed himself to run there, McKay, but the kick is just oh, oh, wow. fallen for Walker. Unfortunately for him, he's played on and dribbled at 40. He's he had a man on. on. And that's Marich, Ivan Marich, steps around, handballs to a runner coming. Now Walker, a chance. Oh, oh a hop, skip and a jump. And a goal medal. Oh, go Walker.
Beautiful finish by Walker, and, well, Glenn, you, you weren't happy with his first attack on the footy, but since then, mm. been very good. Well, I saw the runner run out to him, and I think he gave him a nice old cook after that uh, 50 metre, and plus that lack of intensity in that first uh, lead up to the ball. And after that, he's been, uh, he's been their best player. <laughs> It's a good game of footy. McKay also having a spell, been influential as you mentioned, uh, Liam. In an area that they just dropped off this year, or one of the areas, I've been mean, poor in a lot of areas, Adelaide, but that run and carry linked up sort of running from defence. I was so good at last year. You can see the spread here. This is much better. Davis. Now he goes into the pocket. Sunlight may be a problem for Dangerfield, not really, because he's so talented. He's got to try and back himself here. Fremantle have got numbers back. If he's going to try and pinpoint, he's going to have to be 100%. But uh, this is a very tough kick. We know this is the toughest pocket. Is it, ever? it just pushes it away from goal. Well, I, I just don't know how he could possibly kick it with the way the wind's blowing. It'll be blowing from right to left. And it's a bit stronger than that. Yeah, he's going to have to reverse swing. Yeah, he's not sure how he's going to do it. It's going to be a difficult kick. Dangerfield. And there it is. It blows Smart. it across the front. Looks for a big pack. Looks for someone at ground level. Walker! Oh. Walker! <laughs> Taylor Walker kicks a fantastic goal. He's 13th for the season. Dangerfield off. But Adelaide, all of a sudden, out to a 10-point lead. And they are looking sharp. <laughs> by five points, which is a concern. The amount of attack Good work, done. Good work, Patrick Dangerfield. All the boys come over to him and congratulate him. It was a certain mark to the free man of the Dockers, but he ran back with a fly of the ball and just intercepted it with a, with a punch through to the boundary line. That's commitment. Sandlin's back onto the ball. Now, off the back of the pack, but just dropping it was Douglas Edwards. Another possession for him. By hand, it ends up with Riley in a bit of space. Now to the hot spot. Tippett just slips at the back, but gets up again. Pushing Man down. Yeah, he, he pushed Roger Hayden in the back. Just had to be a little bit, a uh, little bit smarter there, Kurt Tippett. He just got to use his big body and not, not, uh, you know, give away silly free kicks. His young boy's going to do it. No, I reckon they're going to be a bit smarter when they bring the ball in this long bomb stuff. It's not working. No, they've got to hit up some targets here. We'll go for some different options. All three men are doing Every time they bang it long and high to the top of the goal square, they're just putting two and three numbers back and giving him a real, uh, Taron a real chop out. Well, I think they're going to start lowering their vision, lowering their eyes, and looking for some other options. Oh, God. He's in two minds there because they spread really well between Kepler Bradley and Andy Grover, and he, uh, he missed both of them. Edwards is on his own, and <laughs> he's refused. <laughs> The Dockers are doing the right thing for his last game and not picking him up, but he was just ignored there. It's a big kick. It's a huge kick. It. And why wouldn't he ignore him when you can bang the goal through? Taylor Walker. Taylor Walker's third goal, as good as a set shot as you'd see at Amy Stadium. Absolutely. Brilliant kick. <laughs> It's important. Adelaide need to do something here. Oh, they they can really make the Dockers feel for that miss. Well, they, can, they need to continue what got them in front in the first place, which was playing on like, this sort of stuff. There he is, Sloan now. again. McKay to Sloan. He can keep going. Thompson. Loose man. Thompson. Gee, they've been good. He's been good. He's been outstanding. But he needs, he needs a, bit, a support crew with him. He's not going to do it by himself. He keeps it low. Over the back, Walker! Smithy's boy. Where did he come from? He popped up there in the sprinkler, got some space. <laughs> <laughs> you have to check that sprinkler here. Yeah. Walker for goal number four. And they make the Dockers pay for the error. Well, they certainly... Because that's where the Rangers got to be.